ladies and gentlemen, I have just spent the better part of four hours, yeah, better part of four hours working on finalizing the lawsuit, making sure that the caption was correct on all of the forms, including the cover sheet, the summons, the complaint, the subpoena, and all of that. Yes, we'll be doing subpoenas. This lawsuit will be filed on Thursday. We have a process server who will be delivering it to the court to be filed, and it will also be sent via mail so that we don't have any excuses. We do expect that they will dismiss it. We're prepared for the dismissal. The fact is we have to put this on the record before they change the financial system, which I do suspect we will find out some things being changed on Tuesday. I know that they said the 26th, which is the holiday, today is supposed to be the beginning of change. I just saw a video, um, didn't want to see it, from the Israeli so-called defending itself against Hamas. Yeah, they're defending themselves and they just bombed a camp in Rafa. And the guy was literally holding up a baby that had no head, that had been hit by the bomb. So something is about to change because that's going to be a tipping point. In other words, they're going to have no other choice. They've allowed it to go on too far, and Israel has said it's not going to stop. So before the bandini hits the fan, we're getting our claim in. Now, as I said, $400 billion is not a lot. And those of you who, I've been trying to give you my copy, and I got my signature and everything, and I can't get through to you. Those of you who did not listen to the video when we told you we needed it turned in by a certain time who doggy um let me help you to listen now everybody will be given an opportunity to join this particular suit this is the beginning not the end this is the filing let me explain how this works if i were to file the suit that's why you're not paying a dime. Everything came out of my pocket. It's costing me over $700 to file this. I have to pay the process server. I have to pay the person for making copies where they are because my printer is not printing correctly. It's better than me sending it in the mail anyway. They get it now as opposed to blah, 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 blah. So what happens is by having individuals come into the suit later, it automatically gets turned into a class action. Now, if you know the rules of the court, normally you have to petition the court to convert the matter to a class action. So this is a way to get around that. That's right, you heard what I said. There are a lot of the rules that don't necessarily apply and can be averted. And that's what we're doing. Not subverting it, but averting, getting around the stupidity of the rule. The rules are not created by the court. The rules are created by some stupid committee. Okay? They don't take into consideration you. They take into consideration attorneys. They take into consideration being technical. We're not here to argue all of that. We're not here to argue jurisdiction or none of that with them. We don't care about the court, whether it has jurisdiction or not. It has jurisdiction over the subject matter because... And it also has jurisdiction over the parties because we're petitioning the stupid court. So we're not arguing their jurisdiction, but we are going to argue the attorney general's jurisdiction because it cannot represent commercial entities. That's right. You heard me. The attorney general has no authority to represent a commercial entity. It can only represent the public and the government. The government doesn't maintain any sovereignty while operating in commerce. Ta-da! So we'll take care. I will take care of all of that. I don't need you guys. Well, have you going to argue this? Are you going to please stop? Don't even think about it. This was not your idea. Well, I was thinking about then you should have done it. Seriously, you should have done it. This thing has taken me almost eight months. And you have no idea the amount of problems I had. That's why it took me four hours to fill out a couple of forms. The amount of problems I had with the system trying to stop me from taking care of these forms. 
that was a lot of headaches, having to redo it over and over again because the system kept shutting down. The PDF kept shutting down and then restarting, shutting down and restarting. And every single time I had to save. And if I didn't save it, I had to go back in and do it all over again and had to make sure I covered everything. Imagine that. All right. I did a video earlier this morning telling you guys that I could tell you about how to do the perpetual tax credits from here on out for each of you. I'm about to do another video that's going to show you how to do that. I realize it's not a violation of any law for me to provide that information for you guys, so I'm going to provide that information for you guys. So I'm going to take a break. I got to go outside. Um, I'm going to take the little sprayer and spray down the, the solar panels for a moment. Um, it's late in the day. It's five o'clock, six o'clock. And so I'm just going to go out there for take a break from all of this. Then I'll come back and I'll do that video and I'll even create a song for it. Okay. So with that being said, everyone, the lawsuit is complete. The link for the completed document, if you want to see it, will be in the title of the video. Now, YouTube, doesn't like me putting the links in the title. They've already tried to take down one video. Okay. <laughs> because I'm getting around their restrictions. They place restrictions on my videos, preventing me from putting links in the title, preventing me from putting links in the description. Like you go to other videos and you can click on a link that's in the description. They won't allow me to do that. So I went around them. And so now they're trying to penalize me for doing so. Hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> Gotta go, y'all. Take care. Be right back with another video. But for right now, take care of yourselves. Odds out of here.